The manufacturing of the National Ignition Facility target chamber began in the fall of 1997. Assembly and welding at Livermore were performed in a temporary cylindrical steel enclosure constructed in June 1998. After the bottom three plates were welded together to form a supporting base, the other plates were lowered into place and held together with guy wires until they were welded together. After completion, the target chamber was lifted by an enormous 14-story tall crane and hoisted onto a massive concrete pedestal already installed inside the target bay. A combination of hydraulic jacks, roller assemblies, shims, and anchor bolts were then used to adjust the chamber for final alignment. 